Yo, what's happening guys? Diddybury89 here, back again with some more Dragon Ball Legends news and tips and information. And today we're going to go through some of the characters' uh, gameplay for, of course, the second anniversary. Now, this video will be posted a few hours before, of course, the anniversary, just to get ourselves hyped up. So these are the sparking characters that will be introduced into the banners for the second anniversary. So we've got Omega Shenron, we've got Rage, Adult Go, um, Trunks, sorry, Future Trunks. We have, of course, um, the Super Saiyan 4 full powered Goku, and we have Zumasu merged or fused Zumasu, and of course, the beast himself, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. So, what we're going to do is look through their um, gameplay, then we're going to see what they have to say about them, and then, of course, say which characters we really want to get and what banners most likely are going to happen from them. But without further ado, we are going to, of course, check out these characters. Starting off with Omega Shenron. Let's go. So there you have it, that is of course Omega Shenron there dropping here. So he is probably the character last on my list of the characters I really want to get because at the end of the day, the ones I'm pretty much going to go in order of which ones I want to which ones I don't want. Uh, of course Omega Shenron being the fifth character I'd like to get out of all five so here he's in fifth place now it says here omega shenron is coming soon his special move minus energy ball deals massive damage and increases ally special moves awakened and ultimate damage inflicted upon activation use him in your gt party with other characters who have ultimate arts so he's pretty much going to be uh, your gt based character um so if you're running a GT team, he will be the best character for you. But there's not really much to say about him. He has got a great move set, but uh, he's pretty much going to be there to buff up your special moves and pretty much help get you that ultimate damage on. But yeah, like I said, he's not really one of those ones that I really want to get. So we're going to go on to the next one, and that is, of course, Rage Trunks. I'm putting you down, Black. So there you have it, that is of course the Rage Trunks. Now in the video I made beforehand, they uh, put him down as Super Saiyan Trunks Teen, but they've changed it to Adult now because they know they made that mistake. Now, they're making the videos a lot longer to showcase their moves a little bit more. Uh, he randomly, I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know if I missed it, but he does a final flush in here, considering he used a Gallic Gun in the anime. But we're not here to judge. He is the fourth character, so he's in fourth place out of the five. Uh, of course, I make sure I'm being in fifth. Now, he is one of the characters I wouldn't mind getting. Seems very OP uh, for what he is. Maybe he should have had the legendary finish. There's a lot of characters saying he should, but he probably will in the future with, of course, uh, his spirit sword. But we're going to read what it says. It says Super Saiyan Trunks Adult Rage is coming soon. Trunks has the ability to, that slices his substitution count when the enemy activates their rising rush. Use his soaked up their energy, um, soak up their attacks. So use it to soak up their attacks. He also deals more damage to God Key and regeneration enemy. So he is pretty much the counter for Zamasu, Goku Black, and all those goodness in there. So he is there for the Merge Zamasu counter attack or counter characters there. He also has the ability to slice his substitution. So he is going to 
decrease the rate you have to wait to substitute him in and out when the character uses their rising rush so we've got him there he is in full place not really too eager to get him but if i get him it will not be the end of the world i'll be happy with that so we're going to go on to the next one and that is of course super saiyan for goku already so there you have it that is of course super saiyan for goku now it was a big big hard touch up to go between him and of course super i mean um who i have in second place and it was a big big mashup between them two and uh, he had to go there he has got a great uh fight he does buff himself up and he is there for the long haul pretty much he has a lot of dialogues when he's fighting Shenron uh, of Omega and or Shin Shenron. In this case, he is fighting Shin Shenron. Um, so there we go. But we're going to read what he says here. So he's in third place for me, realistically. So super, uh, super full powered Super Saiyan 4 Goku is coming soon. This range type Goku buffs firepower and combines when using Blast Art. So he's going to be a Blast Art character. Normally he's more of a melee type character. His ultimate Unleash Super Dragon Fist deals massive impact damage and restores his own health on hit. Turn any battle in around with this Goku. So sorry I mucked up that a bit, but he pretty much is there for a turnaround character. And if he's generating his own health when he uses super attack, he's pretty much beast today. He has got the times 10 Kamehameha. And it says here he has he actually has his Unleashed Super Dragon Fist, which is coming on right now. Uh, I believe they could have made it a little bit better with the Dragon Fist actually being the Dragon, but it is what it is. They are making the animations a lot longer once again to showcase their actual skills and stuff. So looking forward to actually summoning on his banner as well. Hopefully, hopefully they merge them all into one. So we're going to go on to our second to last characters and that of course being the bad boy himself. Don't Musk. get cocky. Divine wrath. Back again, Trunks. I will show you the power of divine light. <laughs> Powers merging together in this one body. I will show you the power of divine light. My power is great. The lightning of absolution. Behold, this is divinity. <laughs> I am immortal and cannot be defeated. So there you have it. That is Zumasu there. Fusion Zumasu. Now, he could have been a candidate for an LF finish because... He is such a great character. He is the character that you're going to want to have. He is my number two count, of course. We all know who number one will be. But he would be number one if the other character in question after wasn't there. Now, he has... He's basically the type of character that is going to be growing after time, getting all these buffs, buffing his allies. He is going to be so OP for a non-LF character. He has such great animation for his attacks. He is a beast. So we're going to read what it says here. Fusion Zamasu is coming soon. Fusion Zamasu grows stronger as the timer counts pass. So he's going to get stronger with buffs. He gets more buffs after taking enemy combos and his special skill grants even more while also reducing enemy key. Stack up as many buffs as you can throughout the battle. He is going to be a beast. And if you put him with a regen slash god key um, team, then that's it. It's game set and match. God teams and, of course, uh, fusion teams are going to be the beast of the beast in this game. So... 
he is my number two. I'm just hoping, I'm hoping to God that I have enough chronos to actually summon for him. If not, we'll have to see. So we're going on to the next one and the last and final one. And that is, of course, the be or end all bad boy. I will show you the power of this fine light. Gotcha! Blah, blah, blah! I'm so sick of listening to you! Tough! Here! With that! Yeah! Divine breath! Gotcha! And there you have it, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. He is a beast. They made it look like a movie for him. He has great dialogue with, of course, uh, Fusion Sumasu. He's got a great green attack. That looks like his green attack, that punch. He's got, of course, the LF finish. I love the finishing uh, animation where he just hoops up and slides back. It looks sick. He has the instant transmission involved or uh, instant translocation, depending on how you want to say it. But we're going to see what he says. But he is going to be my number one character, and I guarantee he's everyone's number one character to try and get out. But we'll see how we can get him and if the banners that they're going to get out are going to be justifiable. So it says Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta is coming soon. His ultimate reduces enemy sustained damage cut upon activation and nullifies their restored health when it reaches zero effects and special cover changes activation uh, uh, actions claim victory with his supreme damage ultimate of course it's supreme damage it is the most ultimate and most disrespectful way to kill someone especially if it is with the final coming humming heart into the punch that looked super super mate super op man i'm telling you but i would love to see what it's like if you do not legendary finish them and how it's going to finish it it'll probably just be the final coming humming heart not in my lap, or not in everyone's lap for it. But he's going to be the one that everyone is going for, and of course, he is number one on my list. Now, the way I feel it's going to go down, and we'll carry on with this conversation while this video is playing, is I feel they will, of course, uh, put out a super banner and a GT banner. And I've said this from the beginning, a super banner and a GT banner with, of course, Super Saiyan Blue for GO being on both of them, like they did with the... Goku Blue and Vegeta Blue on the respective banners last time and having the Super Vegeta on them. So that's how I feel they're going to jump it. I hope they mix and match, to be honest. So if they put the Super Saiyan 4 Goku with Zamasu, if they've done that, then there's only one banner I need to jump on. The Super Saiyan uh, 4 Goku and the Zamasu one, they are the two main characters I really want to get now. They're not going to do that because they're going to mix and match just to make you spend the chronos. Now, we... I'm most likely going to get it on a step up banner so hopefully if it is bigger chances for us to get these characters but it's looking like to be a cycle of at least 510 oh sorry 5100 chronos for the cycle if they're going to go down that route and hopefully give us a free summons i'm hoping i'm really hoping they do something like that but guys let me know what you think in the comments below what characters you're going for let me know from of course the five of them where you're rating them what you want to get do you think there's going to be a GT Super Banner? Or do you feel they're going to just mix them all into one big banner? Probably lower the odds of getting a character. But that is it for me today, guys. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you do hit that sub button. Notification bells on. Because when the Shenron Dragon Ball wishes start coming out, I will be, of course, live streaming to get those QR codes for everyone to get. Of course, for myself as well. So... Helping me is helping you, so make sure you're hitting that sub button. But guys, like always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more in the future. And until next time, peace.